last year. During the Mandamano, 75 of them, we say to the 41 Gen Zs who lost their lives, and they're all very young, from Rex, who was 29, that we buried in Machakos the other day, to Kennedy Onyango, who was only 12 years, and who took almost eight bullets. And this system keeps changing the story. But Kenyans saw a little boy of 12 years whose body was riddled with bullets and who died at the hands of our police. We are here to commemorate these deaths, but also to salute the freedom fighters. Indeed, this was a struggle through Saba Saba that enabled us eventually to craft Constitution 2010, which was launched by the late President Mwai Kebaki. And since that time, this country has been on paper democracy. We ask ourselves on this Saba Saba day, is it still a democracy? Now, a latter day um, men and women, by this time young, the Gen Cs, have taken this a step further. As we commemorate Saba Saba, which is itself not even a national holiday, and as far as I'm concerned, if one was to ask me, this Saba Saba should become a national public holiday. Um, because it is so significant. This is, as I said earlier, um, the struggle uh, that brought Constitution 2010. But this struggle now has been heightened by the Gen C revolution. The Gen Cs uh, are both on the streets because in Saba Saba and Kamukunji, those men and women were on, a lot of them were men by the way, <laughs> Uh, we don't mean the demean our ladies, but it comes to a time when at uh, that time a lot of men came out. But this time it's a lot of young women who are online, online and on the streets. We said during the funeral service of uh, the first one to fall, um, young man Rex Masai, fell at 29. And we have realized between Rex and the young man on Yango's 12 years, a lot of them are young people uh, between the ages of 18 and 23 or thereabouts. And so they have carried the struggle of Saba Saba. And today as they gather in the streets of Nairobi or wherever they are, we want them to know that Azimio Laomoja, one Kenya leadership, stands with them. It is apology time to this country. 